Hey guys, what's up? So last time we were able to create our form and we can create a contact. But I want to show you how you can add a prompt feature so that the user doesn't leave this page without confirming if you, they want to leave if they were typing something here. This is like this is the, the, the YouTube Studio app. So when I come and change some things, let's say I'm editing a video and then I change something and then I try to go away. You notice that they prompt me if I'm sure I want to leave because I have changes that I didn't save. So here I can decide to cancel and that means that I, ha I can stay on the same page or I can go ahead and confirm and only then I am routed back to other pages. So we'll be adding that feature here using React Router. So the way it works is you only need two things. You only want to know to detect if a user was changing something. Okay, so once you can detect that, the only thing you will need to know is the message to show them. So I think it's gonna be simple. So you see how here, let's see. You see how here you try to go back and then you get this generic view. So at first I'm going to show you how to create like this one. And then I'm going to show you how you can create a custom one that uses a real UI that you can have every control over. And it can match with very well with your look and feel of the application. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is know when this form is half filled. So if you go to our add contact, I'm going to set up a variable here. So const form is half filled. So how do we know that the form is half filled? So in my head, I'm thinking that we can check if our form values are not empty and they have more than one letter here. So all of them, even including the add favorite. So the way we can do that is we know that add favorites will be a boolean. So we can first check if it's there. So we can do that. So we can have form. So the form is going to contain objects. So for us to get the values, so we can do object with values. Then we want to, the object is going to be form and that's going to give us all the values in the form. So that will be like uh, Smith, John, Randa, Smith, John, Kenya, then like it's a number and then this will be true or false. So if it's false, that means that the user didn't change it. So what you can do, is here we can first filter out so we can first filter on the form we can filter out all the values that are not empty is not equal to empty so like i said this will be the values so here we are checking that they are not empty so meaning that the ones the count that will be returning from so meaning that the ones that will be returning that will be returned from here now we can go ahead and count them so you can do dot length dot length okay so that will mean that this here will return for us the values of everything in the form and then we are getting the ones that are not equal to empty okay so meaning that the ones that will be returned will be the ones with values and also since we have a boolean one here we can also add it here and make sure that if it's false, it's not returned. So here we can have an an item and okay. So this will give us all the values that will that will be having values. And actually, to show you, I'm going to remove a dot length just so we can easily understand what we are at. So I'm going to console log it. So if I go back now and reload and go back to the console. We can see that form half field is zero for now. So if I type something here and come down here, you can see that the form half field has a value. So every time I add something here, you can see that it has a value. So meaning that at this point, the form when the form has more than one value, so from the start, if it has more than one, it means that the, it's half field. Okay. So the same thing works when let's say I add to favorite. So you see when I add to favorite, the value here is, let's see, when I add to favorite, the value is, is also added. So that's why I mentioned that we can have it. We can also have the this. So when we have this item, this will be a true then and this is not equal to this. So meaning that if I remove this, it should be removed from the values like this, okay? 
so we will also, so for us to take to take it also in in mind we can also have it here so we filter out at once okay so i believe this is going to do it so here we can have a dot length being greater than zero okay so for us to make sure that this is there we can have this conversion operator and now this is now a boolean so if we go to our layout here we are going to use a component from react router dom so the component is called prompt so here we can have prompt so prompt takes in two props one is when and another one is message so the when we want it to, to we want it to show when the form is half filled so we need to send that prop down so here we can create half field there and then make sure we are sending it to our layout component so in the layout which would be where is it create we can pick it okay and then we pass it to the when so the message is going to be a string so you can say something like you have changes and saved changes sure you wanna leave okay it's gonna be a question so if we come back now let me remove this debuggers if you come back now and so if you come back now to the form see we can click and go away but when we come and change something and try to go away you see we get this so here if we cancel we can keep here and if we say leave you see it goes okay so I noticed, I noticed that this is good this is actually working fine although when we are when we, we are trying to navigate from the application using react router and at this point that is going to be at a point where we have created a contact so that's gonna be this is the coming many so that's gonna be creating contact so you notice that we we redirect when we have data okay so we want our redirect to not be a, to not affect this normal redirect that we have from react router so here on the on the condition we can also add if we don't have data so that we don't actually break the create contact redirect okay so let's test it out one more time you can come here if you don't put anything you can move if you come here and do that you shouldn't move you see it works okay so if you come here and do this you shouldn't move okay but when you remove it the form is reset to its default state you should be able to move so you can see everything is working so this is gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel so in the next one I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a custom UI for this uh, and you have control over it so it's going to be awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.